Hybridization of orbitals is a confusing topic, which makes determining hybridization of molecules difficult. This is a trick to determining hybridization of molecules. Again, it's just a trick. It does not bring about the understanding of hybridization, nor will it show the true molecular geometry of molecules. But before we look at some examples of my hybridization trick, Let's first refresh on SPDF subshells. The S subshell has only one orbital. The P subshell has three orbitals, and the D subshell has five orbitals, and the F subshell has seven orbitals. And one more thing that you have to know before we get into doing my trick for hybridization, when we're looking at electron domain regions, that refers to any bond regions, or lone pair regions of the central atom. So the central atom here, E, has one, two, three, four electron domain regions, two of which are bond electrons and two of which are lone pairs. So let's use sulfuric acid for our first example. So the first thing you wanna determine is how many electron domains there are. Basically what that means is how many bond regions or lone pair regions there are. So in sulfuric acid, there's one, two, three, four bond regions. So all you have to do is S, P, 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 remembering that there's only one orbital in S, three orbitals in P. So you can say this is SP3 hybridized. So now let's take acetone as an example. So just like before, we want to determine how many bond regions or lone pair regions there are. And there's one, two, three bonding regions. So we say SPP. -P. This is SP2 hybridized. So now let's look at something a little bit bigger. How about phosphorus pentachloride? So remember, the S subshell has one orbital, the P subshell has three orbitals, and the D subshell has five orbitals. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous two examples, determine the number of electron domain regions. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have S, P, three, D. Again, one S orbital, three P orbitals, and one D orbital altogether make five orbitals that will hybridize. So this is an sp3d molecule. So now let's look at an example of something with a lone pair. So once again, just like before, we're going to determine the number of electron domain regions, which does involve lone pairs. So this molecule has one, two, three, four, five, six electron domain regions. So that would be S, P, 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 D, D, which makes it S, P, 3, D, 2, hybridized. Simple as that. In the description of this video, there's a link for you to download a copy of a molecular geometry table, which will show the different hybridization states and their true molecular geometries.